Jennifer J. Welcome to Community Focus. It is my honor and privilege to have a new member to the JJ family. We are um, we are fortunate to introduce a new show on our sister station, which is Bounce TV, and it's a great new community program called Hub City Now with a special spectacular host, Ty- Tyrone Tony Reed Jr. and Tyrone is joining me today. Welcome to the family. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's good to be here. We are so excited. I feel fortunate to be able to have you with us in our family. And I would like for you to give our listeners a little bit of your background, not the whole shebang, because I really want you to introduce them on a separate show, all just you. But just give us the highlights of why you're involved with Community Focus. Okay. Well, I'm originally from Memphis, Tennessee. I was born and raised there, graduated from Whitehaven High School, Mm -hmm. Tigers. Um, Go Tigers. (laughs) I uh, then went to Indiana, uh, Franklin College in Indiana, where I majored in journalism. Mm -hmm. Um, The reason why I got into journalism was because I'm a huge comic book fan and I love Superman. And I thought I could be Clark Kent. Oh, my goodness. So that's what I wanted to do. And that's what I've been doing for the past couple of years. I've worked for several newspapers, um, the Commercial Appeal, um, the Jackson Sun. Yay. And I currently freelance for the West Tennessee Examiner. Okay. So wonderful. All local West Tennessee Examiner. That's with Mr. Bill Marable. That's correct. And the the Jackson Sun. So that's good. So you have local roots, right? Right. Now, are you married to? Are you married? I am married. I'm married to Tawana Cheshire Reed. Um, We met. At, at the Jackson Sun, so she's my Lois Lane. Oh, that is so <laughs> cute! All right, hey Tawana. <laughs> so now, um, when we decided to have you host um, Community Focus, it was because you have such a caring spirit uh, for the community, and I would like you to share with the audience the passion you have for what's going on in the community. Well, um, like I said, um, one of my role models was Clark Kemp. Mm-hmm. And I really care about, you know, seeing how he saved people as a reporter and as a superhero. Mm-hmm. And while I can't fly, I can write and I can introduce people to other people in their plights in life, um, the different things that they're going through. Because mm-hmm. um, everybody has a story. Yes. And everybody's story needs to be heard. And there are people who, get, who might hear a story that are able to help. Okay. But if you never tell that story, no one's ever going to hear it and no one's ever going to be helped. So. I just want to be part of that. I just want to be able to unite people together Mm -hmm. and make the world a better place. And you can do that all by reaching out into the community. Correct. All right. So now, how long have you been in journalism? I've actually been in journalism since I was a little boy. I started my own little newspaper when I was about seven or eight years old. And what was the name of it? It was called The Daily Planet. (laughs) Oh, just like Superman. <laughs> and I, I would write out the weather forecast after watching the news, and I would write some of the news down on um, loose leaf paper mm-hmm. and put it in the newspaper bags and charge 25 cents to my family members. But all they did was read it, and they didn't pay me. Oh, my god! So it gosh. quickly went out of business. Now, did you save any of those? <laughs> I think I have something somewhere, Yay! maybe one, one little piece of paper. Um, after that, I... Um, joined the commercial appeal as a teen panelist when I was in junior high school. Wow! My mom found an article in the newspaper and said, you should try that, try that out. So I did that for two years. Mm-hmm. And after that, when I was in high school, there was the first citywide high school newspaper in Memphis, Tennessee, which was a um, partnership between the teen, um, this newspaper called the teen appeal, mm-hmm. the commercial appeal mm-hmm. and the university of Memphis. And I was the first person to do three years in that program. And we we put out our own newspaper. Teenagers from every high school put out their own news, um, put out a newspaper, took the pictures. It was all by teens, written for teens, by teens. It was it was excellent. It's excellent. Now, is that still in existence today? I'm not sure. There was um, a switch over with the commercial appeal. Mm -hmm. And I think that funding might have been not um, available. And I don't think I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So now what (laughs) what is really interesting about that is. It's sort of the philosophy of JJ977. And the philosophy, in my opinion, is we old schoolers reach down to the new schoolers and share some of our wisdom um, with the new generation. And that's why we're old. Today's R&B 
with the best old school because we want to bring the best of what we, our grandparents brought to us to the younger generation. Right. And the commercial appeal in the University of Memphis reached back and they did that right. for the teens to show them so much of uh, what could happen for them should they just strive a little bit harder. Right. And and, we, I mean, they, we, we've had... We've had some um, Teen Appeal alumni who've gone on and do done great things. Um, there's one named Katori Hall. Mm -hmm. She did The Mountaintop, which was a play that she put on about Martin Luther King Jr.'s last night. Um, Samuel Jackson played uh, Martin Luther King Jr. in that play. Wow. And Angela Bassett played uh, another character in that play. So we, I mean, they've, they've done that some incredible some, uh, things. That is some illustrious alumni. <laughs> right, right. Wow, well done. And now... They can add a radio host, <laughs> Tyrone Tony Reed Jr. to the mix. Well done. We're going to take a quick break and uh, get to with some of our sponsors, and we'll talk some more with the new host of Community Focus, Tyrone Tony Reed Jr. on JJ 97.7. We'll be back. There are many reasons why you should make Suits You your place for men's clothing. The absolute best in customer service, expert alterations, and more. I come for the quality. They have brand names and you just can't beat their prices. I like to be different and the selections are amazing. They have great looks and they're in my size. And I come for the styles. At Suits You, we really suit you. At Suits You, we really suit you. Hi, I'm Dr. Barry Cheney, Senior Pastor of New Life Prison Center. Cordially invite you to join me for Impact of the World Telecast on Bounce Television, JEA Channel 192, every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Get ready to be impacted by the gospel. I have a word just for you. In a world obsessed with throwing shade and putting others down, there's a college boldly committed to doing the exact opposite. A college that understands you are not defined by your yesterdays, where dreams are rekindled and hope restored. A place of new beginnings, transformation, and honor. Where a Christian liberal arts education is more than a piece of paper. It's where you start your story all over again. Start your story and discover the new Lane College. There are many reasons why you should make Suits You your place for men's clothing. The absolute best in customer service, expert alterations, and more. I come for the quality. They have brand names and you just can't beat their prices. I like to be different and the selections are amazing. They have great looks and they're in my size. And I come for the styles. At Suits You, we really suit you. At Suits You, we really suit you. back with Community Focus. We are talking to the new host of Community Focus, Tyrone Tony Reed, and he's also the host of a new show on Bounce TV called Hub City Now with Tyrone Tony Reed. Now, I understand that recently you were, let's go further back. I understand that you were able to interview the some of the cast from the uh, hit show Underground. I did. Uh, early this month, uh, there were in Memphis to thank them for being one of the highest um, rated markets in watching the show. And uh, they met at the national, they went all, all over Memphis, Tennessee, mm -hmm. uh, meeting um, children at schools and got the, um, a day named after them. And they finished that up with a um, special panel at the national civil rights museum. Okay. And I was able to talk with them one on one about their characters and also listen to their panel. Now, which of the cast members were there? I spoke to Aldous Hodge, who mm -hmm. plays Noah, um, Amira Van, who plays Ernestine, and Alano Miller, who plays Cato. And what did you find the most impressive about them? 
they were really passionate about the roles that they were playing. They really enjoy um, being a part of something that has become so big. Mm -hmm. um, and they really want to let others know about the history of, um, of slavery mm -hmm. and, and, and the um, Underground Railroad. And not only just focusing on how the um, slaves were trying to, you know, get right. to freedom, mm -hmm. but how white people were also helping them mm -hmm. um, and how there was division among some of the slaves and how there was a division among those who thought slavery was right, so slavery was wrong. Right. Um, but they were really passionate and they were really grateful. They were really thankful. Um, in fact, they stayed at the end of after the panel and took pictures with everyone who was there. Wow. Now, that's very unusual. Yeah, that was very nice. So are you watching Underground? I have watched Underground. They just finished their first season mm -hmm. and everybody's um, up, you know, very excited about what season two is going to bring. Um, and they're they're already back in the writer's room and, and getting ready for the film the next season. So it's been pretty good. And who is your favorite character? Ooh, my favorite character. <laughs> Probably uh Aldous Hodges is um, Noah mm -hmm. because he's got such a strong conviction, um, conviction about he wants to be free, right. um, that he is free, mm -hmm. that he's not really a slave, but he's enslaved, mm -hmm. um, that no one has the right to own another human being. And he's so committed to what he's doing that he's willing to bring other people with him. Right. But now he's finding himself to be a leader. And that's something that, you know, he wasn't ready for and doesn't really think that he's prepared for. But he's just going along with it because he wants to be free. He believes in being free. Isn't that a timely thing, though, for some of the stuff that's going on now? You may not want to be the leader and circumstances come together. And all of a sudden you're in this position where you make this choice that I'm going to do this because right. I really want this to happen in my life. Right. I mean, that's that's just history. Right. I mean, that uh, from, from the Underground Railroad to the Civil Rights Movement um, to um, Black Lives Matter, mm -hmm. all, all those things, you know, people are, you know, want want the rights. Right. But we are human beings. All of us are. Um, and people are willing to fight for that. And some people have died for that. Yes. And some people are still dying. And that's the unfortunate thing in the circumstances that are going on. Um, right now, his, in a historical sense, it feels like we haven't moved. Right. And at times you realize we really have come so far. And then you blink your eyes and you realize, oh, my gosh, we've barely moved right. at all. Exactly. And that's exactly. a shame. Yeah. Such is life. It's up to <laughs> us to do things like this to help bring it into focus. Well, well you, you mentioned Danny Glover earlier. Yes. Um, yes. Tell me he, about your time at Lane College he, and Danny Glover. He, he, did the he was a commencement um, speaker, and uh, on my one-on-one -on -one with him, mm -hmm. he, one of the things that he hit home on during a commencement address was about service. Okay. And how service was important, how everyone needed to serve their community. Yes. Um, he remember he, he taught he talked to me personally about how he remembered watching the Montgomery bus boycott. Oh and wow. how his parents were, you know, were praising those people and how he said to himself, I want to be those people. I want to do make an impact like that that makes my parents proud. Mm -hmm. And so he was saying, you know, those who forget about his you know, forget about the past are doomed to repeat it. And it seems Absolutely. like we're back in this position where we're again, once again, fighting for our rights. And the do you right to just think be that is because um, I don't want to say necessarily younger people, but an entire generation forgot or chose to forget what happened in the 40s and 50s and early 60s. And just because my personal thought is it's because it was such a traumatic event. And when you get a little past that, you want to live the good life. You don't want to relive what that was, not realizing that you can't give back an inch. You've got to keep pushing forward to get to where we, we're supposed to be. Well, from the family I come from, I was reminded daily. Yes, but that, most, a yeah, lot yeah, were yeah, not, some, and that's yeah, some, the thing. Right. Some, 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 have, some probably couldn't even tell you who Martin Luther King Jr. is right now, and, right. That's, and that's sad. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, they say it's King Day. Well, right. What does that mean? What, does it what mean? did he stand what did he for? Do? Right. Yes. Um, but my my parents always taught me not not just about what the civil rights movement and the and the underground railroad and things, 
but what they sacrificed so mm-hmm. that me and my sister could have an education. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the struggles that they went through. You know, my dad was really um, a stickler about, you know, getting your studies and everything. And he would always tell me, you know, if you do right, right will follow you. Um, no matter if somebody right. does something bad to you, if you do right, right will follow you. And it has. It, ha- it, it has done that for me in my life. Um, but, yeah, I think a, a lot of young people um, and ha- ha- don't, don't know. And as you said, some people don't want to revisit the past. Mm-hmm. But as I said earlier, if we forget. You can't. If we forget. A couple of generations from now, we'll be we right, might be back in slavery again. <laughs> right, we'll be right back where we were, where right. so many people sacrificed to get us away from. And I think really that a lot of people need to see more of the videos from the protest in the um, in the diners and the right. dog attacks right. to remember really how close we are. When you look at what some how the police are treating some people who are protesting now. Right. You could put that side by side with some of the things that exactly. happened in the exactly. 50s looks, and 60s. And, and, that's, and that's something that Danny Glover said. He said, you know, it, it almost looks like I'm watching it all over again, mm-hmm. that it's happening all over again. And, and some of that, um, it's, it's amazing to see how many people are uniting, but there's also a startling alarm about how many people don't really care. Right. Don't really care. As long as it doesn't affect me directly. But what they don't realize is that it's going to affect (laughs) you. It's going to happen. It's like if there's this kid, little kid in the neighborhood, and he's constantly breaking in and out of people's houses, and I say, well, he's not broken into my house, so that's not my problem. And then one day he grows up, and he's not only stealing, but he's killing. Right. It's going to come back. Right. Back in the day, old school again, old school, new school, everybody on the block looked out for everybody else's child. It wasn't, that's not my baby. Right. And it wasn't the people who was like, you better not discipline my child. It was, no, we're in this together. Right. We have to be a community. Right. My, um, da- and, my dad used to say he used to get a whooping from Miss Anna May right? down the street and then somebody <laughs> else. And then when he got, when his parents got home, he got a whooping from them. And oh, there was no... Gosh. You whooped, she whooped me. No, um, I'm no, a testament to that one. Everybody um, got in trouble at school. And then my grandmother picked us up and my grandmother got me. My grandfather got home. My grandfather got me. Mm-hmm. My parents got home and my parents got me. Mm-hmm. And it was like, whatever it was, was certainly not worth all of that. Right. But it also instilled in me, you've got to do right because there's a whole bunch of people who care enough exactly. to, to bring me to task. Exactly. We're going to take another quick break and, and uh, come back and Wrap it up with Tyrone Tony Reed, the new host of Hub City Now on Bounce TV on JEA. And I'll be right back with that information. There are many reasons why you should make Suits You your place for men's clothing. The absolute best in customer service, expert alterations, and more. I come for the quality. They have brand names and you just can't beat their prices. I like to be different and the selections are amazing. They have great looks and they're in my size. And I come for the styles. At Suit You, we really suit you. At Suit You, we really suit you. Hi, I'm Dr. Barry Cheney, Senior Pastor of New Life Prison Center. Cordially invite you to join me for Impact of the World Telecast on Bounce Television. JEA Channel 192 every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Get ready to be impacted by the gospel. I have a word just for you. In a world obsessed with throwing shade and putting others down, there's a college boldly committed to doing the exact opposite. A college that understands you are not defined by your yesterdays, where dreams are rekindled and hope restored. A place of new beginnings, transformation, and honor. Where a Christian liberal arts education is more than a piece of paper. It's where you start your story all over again. Start your story and discover the new Lane College. There are many reasons why you should make Suits You your place for men's clothing. The absolute best in customer service, expert alterations, and more. I come for the quality. They have brand names and you just can't beat their prices. I like to be different and the selections are amazing. 
They have great looks, and they're in my size. And I come for the styles. At Suit You, we really suit you. At Suit You, we really suit you. Jennifer J here for Community Focus, and I am, this is going to be the last time you hear me on Community Focus, unless Mr. Tyrone Tony Reed Jr. cannot make it. I am so thrilled to be able to say he is our new host of Community Focus here on JJ977, 6 a.m. every Sunday morning. But what is also a wonderful is that he is also going to be the host on Bounce TV for Hub City Now, a brand new show that is going to be um, debuting. Well, you'll see, you're seeing it now. <laughs> and he will be the host of that going forward. And uh, Mr. Tony, Mr. Tyrone Tony Reed, tell us when we can listen to you, see you on TV. Well, you can um, watch the show on JEA Cable Channel 192 on Sundays okay. uh, at 7.30 a.m. and again at 9.30 a.m. And on Wednesdays at 6 p.m. on Bounce TV. So are you excited to be? I am. Ex I'm, I'm excited. Um, not only that, but I feel like it's a big responsibility, a uh, responsibility that I choose to accept and mm -hmm. one that I hope will make a change in the community, not just here, but all over the world, because I hope that this spreads and people find out about this and help others. That's a great philosophy. So tell me about some of your some of the people you'd like to see on Hub City Now. Um, well, well, some of the people that I like to see are um, people who are making a difference in the community, mm -hmm. um, police officers, um, firefighters, um, people who are helping the homeless, mm -hmm. who are helping ch mentor children. Um, also, um, what we can do about um, bettering our communities, um, crime prevention. Mm -hmm. um, for several years, I was a crime reporter, and I've, I've been there where there were shootings and drug deals and murders and I've seen the end result of what happens when you break the law right. or when you take a life. Mm -hmm. And I never understood why people would want to hurt other people. Um, but it has to start, you know, at home. Right. As we always say, it starts at home. And um, this, I want this show to be something that the parents can talk to their kids or right. the kids can go and talk to their parents and say, well, you know, I heard this or I saw this and I want to know more about this. Right. Or where teachers can use it as a study tool and, help encourage your kids to do better right. or church leaders, anybody, um, because we're all in this world together yes. and we have to help each other. Mm -hmm. I love that because you embody totally what JJ 97, seven is about R and B and old school today and what was. And I think that that is uh, very pertinent because it takes living ancestors. And that's what I call our older generation. Mm -hmm. They're living ancestors. If you, I look at my dad, he's 80 years old. Mm -hmm. When you think about born in 1939, he'll be 80. Yeah. When you think about what he has seen in his lifetime, right. from no TV to computers right. to the protest for in the South, and he's, he's from Louisiana. Right. When you look at that, what he has seen, the wisdom that he has gained from those experiences, and they want to share it with our younger generation. Right. And I want to share it and you want to share it because it's so powerful and it's so timely mm -hmm. and it's necessary to get us back on track to where we should be right, as a it, nation. It, it gives you a sense of who you are. Yes, um, absolutely. That's <laughs> absolutely true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what you stand for. You got to stand for something. Or you'll fall for anything. Abs See, that's <laughs> it. So, um I want to, uh, I'm reading my notes, so excuse me. <laughs> I want to encourage anybody who would love to sponsor Community Focus or Hub City Now to contact our stations, 731-427-3316, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., and ask for Roger Vestal. We would love to have our show sponsored by people in the community. If you would like to be a guest on Community Focus, how can they contact you or Hub City Now? How can they contact you? Uh, they can you? contact us on Facebook um, at Hub City Now. Um, they can also um, send a message to um, Bounce TV Jackson okay. on Facebook. Bounce TV Jackson on Facebook, Hub, Hub City, City Now, now on Facebook, right. or contact the stations at 731-427-3316. Welcome to the JJ family. Thank Tyrone you. Tony Reed Jr. We are so blessed to be able to have you with us. Thank you. Happy to be here.
There are many reasons why you should make Suits You your place for men's clothing. The absolute best in customer service, expert alterations, and more. I come for the quality. They have brand names and you just can't beat their prices. I like to be different and the selections are amazing. They have great looks and they're in my size. And I come for the styles. At Suits You, we really suit you. At Suits You, we really suit you. Hi, I'm Dr. Barry Cheney, Senior Pastor of New Life Prison Center. Cordially invite you to join me for Impact of the World Telecast on Bounce Television, JEA Channel 192, every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Get ready to be impacted by the gospel. I have a word just for you. In a world obsessed with throwing shade and putting others down, there's a college boldly committed to doing the exact opposite. A college that understands you are not defined by your yesterdays, where dreams are rekindled and hope restored. A place of new beginnings, transformation, and honor. Where a Christian liberal arts education is more than a piece of paper. It's where you start your story all over again. Start your story and discover the new Lane College. There are many reasons why you should make Suits You your place for men's clothing. The absolute best in customer service, expert alterations, and more. I come for the quality. They have brand names and you just can't beat their prices. I like to be different, and the selections are amazing. They have great looks, and they're in my size. And I come for the styles. At Suit You, we really suit you. At Suit You, we really suit you.